Hello, doers. Jose Ignacio here. Now, service level agreements, or SLAs for my acronym lovers, describe the standard of service a customer can expect when they work with a company. SLAs, they lay out what I can provide for my customers and the timeline in which I'll deliver these services. Now, when I make my level of service clear, my customers know what to expect and when to expect it. This helps me foster trust and it boosts my company's reputation. So, enough chit chat. Let's see how to create and apply an SLA policy inside of Odoo. So first, I want to make sure the SLA feature is properly configured on my team. So to do that, I'm going to look at the VIP support team and select the three dots and select settings. I'm going to scroll all the way down to performance section and make sure that checkbox next to SLA policies is selected. Now below, you'll notice there's a working hours field. This lets me define the days and hours my help desk team is going to be working. We work a typical 40 hour week. So I'm actually going to keep it on the standard 40 hours per week option right there. But I'm going to open it right up just so that I could double check to make sure everything is correct. And would you look at that? Something is incorrect. Since these policies depend on our work hours, I need to make sure that they are using the correct time zone. In my case, it's actually not mountain time, but Pacific time. Saving it, and we're all set. Now, since we operate on the standard 40-hour work week, one workday equals eight hours. And because of that, the average hour per day feature over here is helpful if you have contractors working part-time, or non-standard schedules. Factoring in weekends or days shorter than eight hours as well. But now that we have that settled, we are ready to create a new SLA policy for my VIP customers. So for that, we're gonna select configuration menu and then SLA policies. Select that new button up at the top left. So for the name, I'm actually gonna call this one two days to finish. Two says, two days to finish. And we're gonna move forward. In this first section, we can actually set the criteria. I want to, in my case, select the VIP customer team, and then we're ready to go from there. And this is because I want this SLA policy only to apply to tickets from my VIP customers. I'm gonna leave the priority as well as the tag fields blank because I want this SLA policy to apply to all of our VIP support tickets, no matter their priority or their tags. I'm also gonna leave the customers and the sales order items fields blank. Those fields are helpful though, especially if you want a policy to apply to specific customers or even specific products that you sell. You never know. Now, upcoming section over here under targets, we can actually set the target. Now for this policy, I want the tickets to reach the soft stage within two days, which doing our nice math over here is 16 hours because math. So once that we're all set, we're ready to go. I'm also going to exclude the canceled stage. And that's so that Odoo doesn't apply this SLA to cancel tickets on accident. So. We've created our SLA policy and I've applied it to the VIP support team. Now let's see what that's gonna look like in action. So we're gonna save and we're gonna go back over to overview and go into the VIP support card just so we can look at the VIP support pipeline. So one of our customers just contacted me saying they ordered a chair, but it arrived damaged. I happen to know this is one of our VIP clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a support ticket for them under the VIP support team by selecting new. And let's talk about this. Well, it already kind of gives us an example. Chair arrived broken. Big sad. So I need some other information. In our case, the customer happens to be Azure Interior. Then once I save this ticket, you'll notice some Odoo magic appears right there. Look at that. Two days to finish right there with the policy tag attached to it. And the ticket deadline as well is also right there. Now, if the deadline passes and the ticket is not closed, the SLA policy tag is going to turn red. And if I click back over to our ticket pipeline, you can even see the two days right there letting us know, dreadfully, we have 40, actually in our case, 16 hours because those are working hours. Now, if I go back to help desk overview, I wanted to talk about something. I can actually see the SLA deadline on these cards to see if the actual VIP support team has ever failed. In our case, we've failed the SLA deadline on open tickets in the past. In our case, it's just one. So SLAs are a great way to manage customer expectations and to keep your help desk team on track. Be sure to check out the other videos to learn even more about help desk. Until next time, O'Doers, go grab a snack.